Constitution Subcommittee in Congress. And it's dedicated to trying to protect the Constitution from being eroded and, and misread and you know ignored. And the greatest danger, you know the greatest danger of the U.S. Constitution is? Barack Obama. Well, yeah. <laughs> but you're right. Now, he's right, but you know why? It's because the judges that he appoints don't recognize the Constitution as being anything but just a scrap of paper that they can just put aside uh, casually. And I, I can't tell you folks how, how real that is. He's put two people on the, on the, the uh, court already, the Supreme Court, and uh, they're both disasters. They're not a problem, they're disasters. I had a case before the Supreme Court on a bill that I wrote here in Arizona 16 years ago, and it finally got for the second time to the Supreme Court, the first time the Supreme Court said, let it stand, it's a good law, they, they, they didn't hear the whole case. This time they heard the whole thing and we won. We should have won 9-0, to zero, won 5-4. to four. And it was one of those obvious ones, and yet we still only won by one vote. That means that, that Barack Obama will probably appoint two Supreme Court justices. And um, the Constitution, our way of life, your children, your grandchildren, and it all hangs on what happens here. And I don't suggest to you for a moment that Barack Obama wins if we quit. I will say to you, though, that we're an entirely different military strategy at that point, if you want to put it in those terms. We're fighting a rear guard action, and we're trying to hold off the enemy as long as we can, to make them wait a little longer before the, the hordes of, uh, of uh, socialism and, and uh, you know, the, 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 the willingness to, to subordinate the freedom of, of individuals runs over the horizon and, and, and overwhelms what was once the greatest nation in the world. Now, let me try to shift gears here and tell you that I believe, I believe that this is going to be a landslide. Uh, because I believe those last few people are going to say, no, wait, are you kidding? Not Barack Obama, not again. And I think that they're going to, to, to switch in, in a big way and that we're going to win big. But we can't take that chance. We've got to do everything that we can to prevail. And I believe that nominating men like Will Carton gives us the best chance to have people who will have the courage of their convictions uh, as we begin to inject our own thoughts into the greater body, body politic and the debate that takes place nationally here. And I believe that it's important that we do that. And I have great conviction that I back the right guy, and all of you know that I, I care about just about any, any, any size Republican. Uh, I want to I want to help all Republicans and whoever gets nominated. We're going to do everything we can to to take on the Democrats and prevail. But this is the guy we need to nominate if we possibly can. And with that, I guess what we should do. Let me shut up and and uh, tell you thank you for all the ways you've supported me. I don't know what happens. If I have an opponent myself uh, in the primary and uh, in the general. You folks have been very good to me. We we did a poll. And it really frightens me how, how much you supported me because I'm just so terrified that I'm going to screw it up. So pray that I don't, okay? Because uh, I really appreciate the support you've given me, and I hope we can keep, keep doing it for a while longer. And thank you very much, and we'll stop for questions here, but thank you.